Ethan from Exeter. The Midnight Stalker. Ethan, an avid nature photographer from Exeter, embarked on a solo expedition into the dense woods of Dartmoor. Eager to capture the elusive beauty of the wilderness, he set up camp near a secluded clearing. As dusk descended and the forest grew quiet, Ethan busied himself with setting up his camera equipment, unaware of the lurking danger. In the dead of night, a rustling in the underbrush jolted Ethan from his reverie. He tensed, his heart hammering in his chest as he scanned the darkness. Suddenly, a pair of luminous yellow eyes glinted in the moonlight, sending a chill down his spine. Frozen in fear, Ethan watched as a massive black cat emerged from the shadows, its sinewy form blending seamlessly with the night. With bated breath, Ethan observed the creature's sleek movements as it prowled around his campsite, its predatory gaze fixed on him. The eerie silence was broken only by the low rumble of its growl, sending shivers down his spine. Gripped by a primal fear, Ethan dared not make a sound as the creature circled closer, its hot breath mingling with the cold night air. Just as Ethan thought he couldn't bear the tension any longer, the creature let out a blood-curdling roar that reverberated through the forest. With a surge of adrenaline, Ethan darted into his tent, fumbling for his flashlight and camera. As he peered out from the safety of his shelter, he captured a fleeting glimpse of the creature's piercing gaze before it vanished into the depths of the wilderness, leaving Ethan shaken but alive to tell the tale. Olivia from Oxford, the Phantom Predator. Olivia, a spirited adventurer from Oxford, embarked on a camping trip with her family in the heart of the New Forest. With their tents pitched and a crackling fire casting dancing shadows, they settled in for a night under the stars. However, little did they know that their peaceful retreat would soon descend into a nightmare. As the night wore on, a low growl echoed through the trees, sending a shiver down Olivia's spine. Before she could react, a massive black cat materialized from the darkness, its predatory gaze fixed on their campsite. With a ferocious snarl, it lunged towards them, its claws glinting in the flickering firelight. Panic ensued as Olivia and her family scrambled for safety, their shouts drowned out by the creature's savage roars. Desperate to fend off the predator, they brandished makeshift weapons, their hearts pounding with fear. In the chaos, Olivia's mother managed to grab a flaming stick from the fire, wielding it as a makeshift torch to ward off the advancing beast. With a final snarl, the creature retreated into the shadows, its eyes gleaming with malice. As dawn broke and the forest fell silent once more, Olivia and her family emerged from their ordeal shaken but alive, their camping trip forever marred by the terrifying encounter with the phantom predator of the new forest. Liam from London, the haunted moorland. Liam, a fearless explorer from London, set out to conquer the desolate expanse of Bodmin Moor, drawn by tales of its haunting beauty and mysterious legends. With his backpack filled with supplies and his camera at the ready, he ventured deep into the heart of the moorland, eager to uncover its secrets. As dusk descended and the mist began to roll in, Liam felt a palpable sense of unease creeping over him. The moorland seemed to come alive with whispered secrets and eerie shadows, sending a shiver down his spine. Undeterred, Liam pressed on, guided by the flickering beam of his flashlight. Suddenly, a guttural growl pierced the silence, causing Liam to stop dead in his tracks. Peering into the swirling mist, he caught a glimpse of a massive black panther, its fur matted with blood. With a primal roar, it charged towards him, its eyes blazing with feral rage. Liam's heart raced as he scrambled to evade the creature's deadly claws, his every instinct screaming at him to flee. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, he ran as if his life depended on it, the creature's unearthly howls echoing through the moorland night. Miraculously, Liam managed to elude the beast, emerging from the moorland shaken but alive. As he made his way back to civilization, he couldn't shake the feeling that he had stumbled upon something ancient and primal in the depths of Bodmin Moor, 
a place where the veil between the living and the dead grew thin. Grace from Gloucester, the Beast of Exmoor. Grace, a resilient farmer from Gloucester, tended to her livestock on the remote hills of Exmoor, her days filled with the tranquil rhythm of rural life. However, her peaceful existence was shattered by the arrival of a predator unlike any she had ever encountered. One fateful night, as Grace made her rounds under the cover of darkness, she sensed a menacing presence lurking in the shadows. With a sinking heart, she realized she was face to face with a massive black cat, its eyes glowing with feral rage. Frozen in fear, Grace watched helplessly as the creature stalked closer, its predatory instincts honed to perfection. With a blood-curdling roar, the beast lunged forward, its claws extended in a deadly arc, Grace's heart pounded in her chest as she braced herself for the inevitable attack, her every instinct screaming at her to run. Summoning every ounce of courage, she stood her ground, determined to protect her flock at all costs. In a desperate bid for survival, Grace brandished her shepherd's crook, its weathered wood gleaming in the moonlight. With a swift and decisive blow, she struck the creature with all her might, driving it back into the darkness from whence it came. As the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Grace emerged from her ordeal battered but triumphant, her courage and resilience shining like a beacon in the face of adversity. Thomas, an adventurous soul from Torquay, embarked on a moonlit hike through the ancient woodlands of Dartmoor with a group of friends. Their excitement turned to terror when they stumbled upon a grisly scene, a mutilated deer lying in a pool of blood, before they could react, a shadowy figure emerged from the trees, its eyes glowing with malice. With a spine-chilling howl, it charged towards them, teeth gleaming in the moonlight. They scattered in panic, the creature's savage snarls echoing through the forest as they fled for their lives. 